so I'll stop. <laughs> and don't be smiling at me when you see me in the hall. I smile at everyone. I'm a friendly guy. You'd be a horrible poker player. Murphy's on the corner. Move it. That's not where his bus drops off. Do you think he saw us? He's not looking over here. Well, that doesn't mean anything, Liam. We gotta get out of here before the light turns. Let's go. Move it. Um, did I see you on Hanover Street this morning? I don't know. Were you on Hanover Street this morning? Yes. I walked to work. Did you see anything interesting on the walk? Mm. Sean. We can't both expedite your results and reminisce about our morning walks. Sorry. Carry on. I talked to Murphy. He definitely saw us. What are you saying? It's not what he said. It's how he acted. He was clearly uncomfortable talking to me. He's uncomfortable talking to everyone. We need to get out in front of this. Tell Andrews before someone else does. We need to figure out exactly what Murphy saw. No. We can't just ask if he saw us making bread. We're not going to get anywhere with indirect questions. I'll talk to him. You think you can read him better than I can? No, but if at first you don't succeed... Let the man try. Dr. Holland wants to see you too. Both of us? Yep. Have a seat. Actually been meaning to talk to you. The issue is... Dr. Hahn met with the medical board. We're not going to be suspended or reprimanded. The hospital will pay fines on your behalf, and you'll need to complete a few continuing education classes, but overall, not bad. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Does this mean I'm back on the surgical team? No, it does not. You convinced the board that he's competent. You're welcome. I don't have a girlfriend. Okay. Is that consistent with what you've deduced and seen regarding my life? Yes. Good. Enjoy your apple. Are you sad? I'm not sad. Is there another reason to get drunk at 10 in the morning? Shut up. It's fun to drink with someone who is fun. Leah is fun. You're not fun.
No. If I have something to say, I will say it. Well, if I have someone to shut up, then I'll shut them up. If I have something to Okay, I do not like to be touched. <clears throat> Just shut up. I am a surgeon. <clears throat> Treating you for rhabdomyolysis. That makes sense. Why are you here? I am a doctor. Why are you sad? I'm sad and angry and confused and I don't know. I wasn't supposed to be at the bar. I was supposed to be at a job interview. Dr. Glassman got me a job interview, but I don't want a new job. And people tell me that I have to move on, but why can't I just be sad and angry and... It's not rhabdo. You need immediate treatment. What? For what? For what? For what? Tram... Clean. Hey. Dr. Murphy? I need help in here! Left hemothorax and grade two splenic laceration resulting from a rib fracture. Inserted a chest tube to reduce the blood pooling in the pleural cavity. Any idea what caused the trauma? Zach Cordell beat him up. The patient he brought in? Sean told you? Not explicitly. He was acting strange from the minute they came in. Sean acting strange isn't strange. You asked to see me? Yeah, for the last two hours. I'm sorry. I've been dealing with Dr. Murphy. Seems someone beat him up. Quite severely. Yeah, that shouldn't have happened, but before he passed out, he said he knew what was wrong with me. Well, we all know what's wrong with you. You're an ass with a head trauma and rhabdo. Oh, he said you're wrong. He kind of spaced out, all distracted. Then he said that I don't have that, and then I need treatment. Distracted how? Like, he was looking around trying to find something in the air. I don't know. And then it looked like he found it. What exactly did he say? Trampoline. And? That's it. You know, Sean, it could be a reference to something he read somewhere. It could be a metaphor. It could be the guy misheard. It could be delirium. Sean had a systolic pressure of 70. He may have been hallucinating. He may have just been wrong. Hypertensive. O2 sats are dropping. He's crashing. Bag him. All those five units of vasopressin and start a drip. 